Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Ryan Nelson. How about a scouting report on him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Yeah, the right hander deals. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Perdomo oh. on to first. One up, one down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustments. Oh. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. One down, base is empty. Now one down missed. Outside, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. It's Aaron Judge now. That Two one way inside. This is again ball. five in a row. Soto, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And here is Anthony Rizzo. The pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. To second, that's one. To third, and that's two. One hit, one left. Back here in the desert, starting on the mound in this one, Clark Schmidt. What should we keep an eye on here? Leading up. Yeah, his ERA last year was a little worse than That's average, right. so definitely been looking for better results this season. Even one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Struck him out. One away. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And you no, know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning. Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. In the air, right field. Soto racing over to make the catch. Back here with my pal C. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. Giancarlo Stanton. The pitch. 3 1. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a pitch. Stays alive. 
time call time now up. before the payoff pitch. What a stop. Throw to first. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Here's Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. Rips one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Second inning here. No score. That's down and in. Two one. In the air, right side. Carroll moves towards it. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom. Bottom half of inning number two. This is Corbin Carroll. He's someone who quickly made a splash at this level, Chris, a former rookie of the year. And strike two. One, two. That one hit to right. Soto going after it. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite bring it up yeah. enough to really try it. And now it's Christian Walker. One down, base is empty. This one chopped up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. That's the second out. That is good. That's definitely good. Randall. Randall. Randall Gritchick now. That oh. one misses. And now three balls. Three and one. And a strike. And he walked it. That's ball four. Take your base. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Two outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty to the plate. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Gritchick leads off first with two down to the inning. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So no runs. Top half of the third inning, and here's the catcher, Austin Wells. And a pitch. And now two and one after that missed inside. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Left hand batter waits. This one in the air center field. Thomas running hard to get it. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one down. Now it's the shortstop, Oswald Peraza. One down, base is empty. And it is two and one. In the air, right field. Carroll pulls it down, and there's two gone. Labor Torres now, up to hit. Second base. Labor Torres. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Thomas pulls it in to end the inning. Back here at Chase Field, go. Alec Thomas the now. The third field. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Verdugo ranging after it. He's got it. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders batting get about up. 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. 
Fouls one off. Two and two. One out. Base is empty. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. And we're back. Start of the fourth. Juan Soto down. I thought this was a fun note on Soto. In 2023, he hit home runs in Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. I don't think it matters where Soto no, plays. Down. He's going to hit Ball. home runs everywhere he goes. You know, these Yankees, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside yeah. the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. The pitch. Ground ball right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly to first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Here comes Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Late with the swing there. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. That's towards center. Thomas sizing this one up. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Here's Stanton now. John Two outs. And that one fouled off. Fourth inning underway, no score. And Hold another down. ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Alex Verdugo on deck for the Yankees. Hey. Out number three. The so one hit is all they get. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now it's Chase Peterson. Peterson. In the dirt, what? and it's two and one. You know, these D-backs just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases right. are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. The 2-2. Two -two. Good job to fight that one off. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I've been in many games as a fan. Left hand hitter waits. Now this is in the air down the line. Soto going after it. Pulls it in for the out. Cattell Marte up to the plate. The D-backs still looking for their first hit in this one. Falling oh. behind two and one. In the air, left field. That one hop 
Hurts against the fence. Around first and hustling for second. Verdugo quickly throws it in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. He was all over that one. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Two and two. And it's second. Just nope. missed. A really good take, especially with two strikes. Christian Walker waits on deck. High fly ball, right field. Soto gets under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Now, Pat, first base. Christian Walker, the next to hit. Walker. That one that missed. missed. That's the ball. Runner at third. Two, balls, one two away. Late swing. Fouled off. And a 2-2. And that one missing low. That's a really good take. Randall Gritchett on deck for Arizona. Marte on third with two out. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And a pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Payoff pitch. In the air, out towards left center. And that will end the inning. One left for Arizona. Back here in the desert, top five, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Alex Verdugo. Left field, Peterson turns to the right on the move. Balls it in, and there's one away. Now it's LeMahieu up to hit. DJ Here's a 1-1. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And ball. another ball. Meanwhile... Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Thompson getting loose out there. Check swing. Now we go to first. And he won around. Rule the swing. Now at the plate, Austin Wells. Two outs, bases empty. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Got it. Back here with my we pal Ziggy. Yeah. We'll and now, back. Randall Gritchett. The designated hitter. Randall. Gritchett. The other way. And that's a fair ball. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Three. So now one and two. One and two. And a weak ground ball to the left That's side. Foul. And it's just foul. That was close. Man, it's second. And that's, that's down and away. Yeah. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Really nice execution of the cut fastball right there. Similar to how you might throw a two-strike slider, start at middle away, let it break, and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with the cutter, you just don't know how much it'll move. I think he's good, but I think he was also a little lucky right there.
And now Alec Thomas. That one down the line. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now two away. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now. And they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, but and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned. And just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. And the batter now, Gabriel so that Moreno. That's the ball. Just missed. Two balls, one strike. Right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. For the Diamondbacks. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Back here at Chase Field, top six. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswald Peraza pulls out one foul. And here it comes. That misses, and the count is even, two and two. Two, two. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Gathers and throws to first. One up, one down. Up, up, up. Here's Glaber Torres. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. The one-two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. All over that one right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generating. Oh, the right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, oh, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the goal. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Ryan Thompson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. The 1-1. One -one. Right through there for a strike. Moving in the bullpen, number 30. I've been throwing for manager Tori Lavella. Mansupply, a left-hander, also throwing. Here comes the pitch. Good nice work from the snake pen there. Well, we go bottom six. And the batter will be the shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo. The new pitcher in the game, Caleb Ferguson. He's making his second appearance of the season. Down the line. Number 64. And that's a foul ball. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Torres. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Jace Peterson. And a 1-1. That one pulled foul. Kicks and deals. And right back to the mound. Two up, two down. Oh. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. The batter. Here's Cattell Marte. Second baseman. Cattell. Marte. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. Here in game one of this three-game set. Not two, two. even close there. Two and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Base hit. 
So he battled through a long at bat and earned himself a hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice line drive to the pole side, maybe not front, but just stay through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. The pitch. This one blasted the other way, down the line, and it's a foul ball. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the six. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started, and now it's Giancarlo Stanton. And the pitch. And he can't come up with it. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Check swing. No appeal. Now two balls and a strike. Righty delivers. That one ripped. And Verdugo is set down. And there's two away. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Here's DJ LeMayhew. Two down, nobody on. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And ball. another ball. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. That's it. This is it's a strikeout. Whitney. And he deals. Swing and a miss. One as he was out front that time. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. The 2 2 on the way. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Goes down looking. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way. Coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. A Eugenio Suarez up to hit that. Tommy Canely taking over on the mound. This is his third time out this year. Number 41, Tommy Canely. That misses. Ball two. Strike three on the foul tip. We go to the eighth, and now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Wells. And now it's filled up. Oswald Peraza waiting for a turn at the plate. In the air, out towards right center. Carroll moves towards it. And there's one away. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. 
Toronto. So now a pinch hitter, Anthony Volpe. And this is a big at bat coming, Boo. Definitely a little added pressure on him here. Right handed reliever. And another ball. The pitch. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came through for his club right there. Here's Glaber Torres. the throw it's off the mark and he scores mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead once you get the ball by the pitcher there's a lot of base hits up the middle even on ground balls so nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit here's Juan Soto and time called at the plate maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot side could be two there's one and that's two well they pick up one run on the rbi single it's now a one nothing ball game so remaining in the game defensively anthony volpe taking over as the new shortstop now following his pinch hit appearance so digging in alec thomas and now two and one Chop left side. Tosses across the first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. And the pitch. And that quickly two away. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. The pitch. And the tying ball run ball. is on base. base. Pretty easy walk right there. Last You're pitch right. wasn't even much to think about. Now the number two hitter, Jace Peterson. Now time called. Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. Victor Gonzalez now into the game. Well, the best relievers number love the opportunity to come Victor. in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And when you don't stay on top of the ball and really get out front and finish with a good release point, it's very easy to lose control of it to either side. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. And a pitch. On the ground right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Here's the throw. And he's safe. Tie ball game. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet. Knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Corbin Carroll. 1-1 one, one down. Chopped in the ground. And he picks it up in foul territory. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Hammer could be extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. One runs in. Now the second one is in. And they lead by two. Well, there you go. The RBI man.
machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. The pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. Last chance coming up here for the Yankees. So coming into the game now on defense, Jordan Lawler. He's in at shortstop. Jordan Lawler. Yeah, the hard throwing righty trying to secure these outs against a potent Yankee lineup, and it starts with Aaron Judge. Yeah. Judge comes up empty there. The Yankees looking to rally. Line drive. Nice grab. They put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. And the righty deals. Now fly ball to right center. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. The pitch. Two. Swing and a miss if he was late. Two and two. And Down another ball. Alex Verdugo in the on deck circle. Side and that is ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. The bat, the left hand, Alex Verdugo. Substitution being made at first, and here's the Yankees pinch runner, Everson Pereira. Number eight. And next for New York, Alex Verdugo. away doesn't get too far away so no one moves up up, 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 up to the plate steps the DJ LeMayhew Le 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 looks like it'll be a pinch hitter Trent Grisham a critical at bat in this game for him Pitches outside. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. They right. say you win. Two and two count. The Yankees down to their final strike. Right-hander kicks deals. And full another count. ball. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. Swung on, ball two. Back there. Tattooed and gone. His first homer of the year. It's four. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time.
It's so tough to come in as a pinch hitter and have success. I mean, you really have to keep yourself locked into the game and ready at any time. So it's over. Number 30 takes over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. Left-hand hitter waits. Breaking ball, and that, that got, got him. him. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. And up next for New York, Anthony Volpe. The 1-1. Rip towards third, and the inning is over. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. You're Staying in the game on defense, Trent Grisham. He'll play third after coming into the game as a pinch hitter. Now it's the DH, Randall Grichik. Clay Holmes will take over here. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. And fouled off. And a one-two again. Just oh. missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Ground ball base now. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a counter, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Here's the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Number 31. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's hard hit on the line. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Coming home. He scores to tie it up. It's four to four. Picks himself up an RBI. Even though center fielders are amazing at tracking down balls these days, there's still a lot of room out there, and it's a big field. So if you hammer one to center like that, there's a decent chance you're picking up extra bases. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Here's the center fielder, Alec Thomas. And here it comes. Yeah! Swing and a miss, and he got him. One out, bottom of the nine. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Steps on first that's for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. No, it's not a knock, there. but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Here's the shortstop Whoa. at the plate, Jordan Lawler. And now two and two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Struck him out. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Back here in the desert, we're in extras here. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Glaber Torres. Here's a 1-1. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Slams off the bottom of the wall. Thomas quickly gets it back in. And the go-ahead run stops at third base. And that's a leadoff double. Now 
it's Juan Soto. Extra inning certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning, and that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error, and boo, to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning, but for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. That one lifted to left. Peterson sizes this one up. Makes the grab. Runners tagging from second and third. He'll score on the sack fly. 5-4 now as they take the lead. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats. But he'll take the sack fly. RBI, good job to get that run in from third. And a pitch. And Judge spoils that one. Center field. Thomas sizing this one up. And makes the grab. And there's two away. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And that oh. one just missed off the outside edge. Two one. Drill to right, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast. Third home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 7-4. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. See, ever wonder what a 480-foot home run looks like? Well, here you go. Just absolutely amazing, Boog. I mean, StatCast tells the whole story right there clearly, but just so impressive in real time, but even more so when you got the data to back it up. You're right. Now on the bump, Joe Mantiply. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Digging in, Everson Pereira. The one-two. That's a ball. Two, two. Yankees up by three here in the top half of the 10. Pitch in Down the dirt, and now it's three and two. Warning track. Whoa. And you can touch them all, baseball man. Emerson Pereira with his first major league home run. A special moment in his young career. And who knows, maybe that will open the floodgates for him. Yeah, getting that out of the way can be a big confidence booster. It feels like a huge weight just been taken off your back. You can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was off of Omar Olivares, and, you know, being there in Los Angeles against the Angels, just a tremendous day, great ballpark, and a special moment for sure. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. The pitch. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. Lawler tossed to first. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. It's a four-run inning as a result of two homers. Last year. Back here at Chase Field, on to the bottom of the tenth. Here's the left fielder, Jace Peterson. Jonathan Loisica gets the ball now. And he comes on here for the first time this season. And I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that. So we'll see how he settles in. And another ball.
And the right hander deals. This is off the plate, and it's three and two. You got a full count. That one to first, Rizzo. And he takes it himself for the out. The batter, Cattell Marte, will hit next. Cattell Marte. Just no, missed. Up. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in two, on your two. hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Gets a piece and stays alive. At the belt and fires. This one high in the air to left center. Grisham settles under it. Brings it in. Runner tags for home. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score. It's 8-5. to five. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Corbin Carroll. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two. This could end it. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Up and in. Two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Got it. That finishes the evening's action. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things.